Okay, we come now today for everybody up, but first I'm going to make a video on the video. And again, today making first a video about the answers. So we have here campfire for all students that did not work with us online. Here the answers. Tell a story is C. Number two is E. Number three is B. Number, number five A. Number six is D. Then we have here the sentence we have was she she was the stories when I arrived at the campsite when I arrived at the campsite he was putting up the campfire he was building a campfire when I arrived at the campsite when I arrived at the campsite she was roasting a fish she was setting up the tent when I arrived at the campsite. When I arrived at the campsite, he was looking at the stars. I repeat now here again to explain again. This is the past continuous. What is the difference between the past continuous and the past, past simple? So I take here a mark. So we have here's example, I arrived. I arrived. Arrived is here as example the past simple. I arrived. He was putting up, putting up the campfire. So one part of the sentence is the past simple and one part of the sentence is the past continuous. So a short and an ongoing action. So this was ongoing before then and after was putting out so he was putting out the campfire and then he arrived i was building past continuous and then after i arrived or in the first here again past simple and here again the past continuous Past continuous, past simple, and past simple and past continuous. Okay. So we have here two actions. That means something that was going on before he arrived, the moment he arrived, this arriving goes a second, but the putting out goes longer. The, the, the building up a campfire is also longer so these are the longer actions it can stay in the front it can stay in the back you see it here it's switched I arrived past simple was building past continuous in the next page we have there unscramble I was setting up the tent unscramble this sentence and words here also this sentence and the words are scrambled. I was looking at the stars and I was putting out the campfire. And here below we have to put in the quote marks. So we have here the quotient marks what we have here in the front and in the back when somebody says something. Same here, John was telling a story when I arrived, said Mary. And then we have here, I was roasting a fish. So we have there the quote marks, said Jack. Did you feel nervous when you explored the cave? Ask Jane's mother. No, I didn't, said Jane. I felt confident. Here below we have to make the same but we write sentence. So we have here as example Bella was camping in the woods with her mum. Mum and she's calling mum she said. So we have to put the mum into the quote marks. I saw a deer. 
I saw a deer. Really? What were you doing when you saw it? Asked her mother. I was looking at the stars. So we have here this sentence into question marks. So this makes this here as a telling from the person what I call in the ends CSA said Bella or her mother. Okay, this was the answer and today we are going to do lesson 3 and lesson 4. Lesson 3 and lesson is we are going to do today. We have there also to see our book. So when I go, we have here the start of chapter 2. When I go through the book, then I see answers in there already. Should work always with the book. What were you doing when you saw the deer? I was setting up a tent. When we pair it with the workbook, then you see here just this sentence what we worked here in B. So always work together with your book. We have here as example B. She was setting up the tent when I arrived at the campsite. B. And here a workbook the B. Go on C. And we go in our book also on C. This is the way how we work with the book. What were you doing when you saw the deer? I was setting up the tent. I was. So when you work together with the reading book, then is the work much easier to do. Today we start with chapter 2 and 3 about the story. So we have to read the story and we have to answer questions like which way is the campsite who said that who said that and in the next step here listening and say then act so we have there which way is the campsite it's that way sorry I don't know thanks a lot that's that way so we can play and talk with each other about this here and then we go further and read about plants, roots, stem, leaves, flowers, what we studied in grade what we studied in grade four already. So and putting in the book book today and the workbook. In our workbook we have there I go down number three where we have to put in the vocabulary circle the right words what do Kelly and Beth explore what do Kelly and Beth explore and on number four we have the vocabulary to find and we have to read the story people eat corn in many countries so this story and we answer the question from the story and go here down till the checkup good this was for now for the video see you then on zoom